Jesus and in health, till death do you part. And now, the ring, please.
spacesuits and visors worn by astronauts contain a thin layer of gold to protect them from the sun. Back down on the Earth, some buildings have a thin layer of gold in their windows to reflect the heat. It looks impressive, and it also cuts down on the monthly air conditioning bill, too. Our quest for gold has also led to some unexpected developments. During the Middle Ages, the science of alchemy was born. Its purpose was to find a way to turn less costly metals like lead into gold. Now, these alchemists never did actually synthesize real gold, but the work they did on other materials became the launching pad for the modern era of chemistry. And where there's gold, population explosions soon follow. After gold was discovered in Australia in 1851, the population of that country almost tripled during the next 10 years. The city of Johannesburg in South Africa was founded as a result of a gold rush in 1886. And the gold rush in California in 1849 brought thousands of people out to the Wild West. Enough people that California became an official state one year later. With this ring, I thee wed. One last thing. Sorry. We can thank those ancient Egyptian pharaohs for this custom of wearing a gold band on the third finger of your left hand. You see, they believed that a vein ran from your third finger all the way to your heart. Hey, what is this, anyhow? About ten carat? Ten carat? <laughs>